going on guys? It's Wes here from Coastal Budget Builds. So today, um, I want to show you guys what I've done to the Datsun so far. I decided to go with the L28 block and I decided not to use the fuel injection because, well, I don't want a bunch of wires under the hood. It'd look weird and stuff. So anyways, I want to walk you through what I've done so far and um, I'll keep making videos as I go through the process. I've already done quite a bit to the motor and the exhaust and stuff, but I'll keep filming from now on. I got a little carried away and I was enjoying doing it. So yeah, I'll walk you through what I have so far and then keep up on the progress. So here we go. As you can see, the motor's in and everything. I got the four barrel intake that I built. Um, it was on the 2.4 liter for a little while. But I managed to make it fit on the uh, 2.8. I guess they were interchangeable, which was pretty awesome. Um, this part of the intake is still from the 2.4, and so is this. But then I took my custom intake that I built. Here, I can show you. And that bolted right in place, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, what else? So, as you can see with the exhaust, I've gone underneath the oil pan, yes, I know it needs to be heat wrapped or it's gonna boil the shit out of the oil, but that's okay. And then on this side, I've got this manifold that I'm making right here, that's gonna come up. It's not on here yet, but this piece of pipe right here is gonna go um, bolted to the exhaust, or welded, sorry. Right here is gonna be for the wastegate, once I decide on one. If you guys have any recommendations on wastegates too, please leave it in the comments because I'm not too sure what I want to use yet. Um, it's on a budget so I don't want to spend thousands of dollars. But anyways, that's going to go on there. As you can see the pipe comes up around. The starter does fit, believe it or not. It's pretty close. It's probably like here. But I mean checking the oil is going to suck. It's going to be hot as shit. Oil filter is all good. So that's all good. This is the turbo we're using. It's a HC1 out of a Cummins. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Some people say it'll spool too early. Others say that it'll spool too late. But either way, whatever, it's going in the car. We'll see what happens, if it works or not. But yeah, other than that, <clears throat> excuse me, that's about as far as I've gotten. Everything's all stripped out of it. All the wiring's stripped out of it. Uh, it's all in the passenger seat right now, so I'm just going to keep plugging away and get this all done, get that piece welded up and the turbo mounted, and then after that I will update you on the next steps. From there, I don't know where I'm going to go, so <laughs> we'll just keep on putting it together and see what happens. Okay, thanks for watching guys.